The next two questions on the quiz review ask about how A, B, and C affect the graph. Remember that our parent function is f of x equals x squared. If we add an A, B, or a C value to that, that changes the shape or the position of the graph. A affects its shape. When A is a positive number, that's any number that's a greater than zero, that's going to have a graph that opens up, like a U. If A is a negative number, any number below zero, then it's going to open down like an upside down U. If we ignore the positive and negative and just look at the absolute value of the A, if it's bigger than one, it's a vertical stretch and it gets narrower because the graph goes up or down quicker when we put a number like two in front of it. If A is below one, so any number between zero and one, then it's a vertical compression and it gets wider because then the graph is gonna go up slower. Like if we have a one half x squared, that's gonna go up slower than the parent function y equals x squared. The c value, which is the constant, affects the graph's movement up or down. When it's positive, it moves the graph up, and when it's a negative, it moves the graph down. The b value is kind of opposite of what you would think it would be. Um, so we'll actually get to the b more later on in this quiz review when we get to lesson 8.3 with standard form. I want you to focus on the a and the c here. a affects the shape and whether it opens up or down, and the C moves the graph either up or down. Here's question two. For the first equation, we have Y equals negative 1.5 X squared. Now notice, because that's a negative number, right away we know the graph is going to open down. So in that first drop down, you'll choose opens down, and it gets, well, if we look at the absolute value of A, Ignore the negative, it's one and a half. That's greater than one. So that means it's gonna get narrower, which is a vertical stretch. For our second one here, we have a value of two thirds for A. Now that's a positive number, so we know the graph is going to open up. And because two-thirds is less than one. It's below one. Anytime your A value is below one, that's going to take the graph and make it wider. We call that a vertical compression.